Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode on Mod Loader. Well, on this episode we will code a basic mod. I will teach you how to set up the your mod to be able to show a GUI. And if you don't know what a GUI is, it's like when you open your inventory, that's a GUI. So let's start by creating a new class and name it mod and then the name of your mod, city craft. And I do not have any imagination, so if you guys don't like the name of the mod, please tell me in the comments other names that I can use. I will explain it, I will explain how the mod will work in just a few moments. Let me just start writing the code and telling you guys what that code does. So let's start this class. And since we are using mod loader we need to extend the class as a base mode so if you do that you'll get an error that's very simple error to fix just add the unimplemented methods which are the version as you can see and in the version you will have to write the version of minecraft in this case 1.8.1 so now that that's done let's add the constructor so public mod citycraft open and close brackets and now this is like the very basic this is the basic stuff that your mod needs to have so now let's add three variables which are protected Minecraft and we will name it MC and this will get an error because we haven't imported Minecraft so let's import it just import net.minecraft.client.minecraft the other variable is a public static uh, world and it's gonna be world and the final one is public static int and it's gonna be called create city so once oh and this is needs to start at zero and once this is done we'll have to add some things to the constructor which are MC our minecraft variable is need to be equals to mod loader dot get minecraft instance and the other two are for the GUI, so write mod loader dot and then set GUI hook. And the parameters are this true and false. This will make this will allow us to use our own GUIs and the other one is mod loader dot set game hook and as well this true and false so once this is done you are basically ready for what I want to show you so if you go here oh I damn it not again if you go here to your base mod class you will see that you have a lot of a lot of methods that you can use and in my case I will use this one the public boolean on tick in game and this is a very cool thing let me show you let's just return true okay so what this is what this does this ticks the game I don't know how many times per second I think it's one tick per second if I'm not mistaken so let me show you what I mean by ticking. So create city plus plus. And then let's print it out. System dot out dot print line. And then we will print the create city. Okay. So our create city starts at zero. And this 
increases one value to our creativity. So this will print our current value. So if we run it and we create a new world, like let's just create a new world, it doesn't matter the name. Make sure you are watching here the console because this is what I want you to see. So be aware what's going to happen when this is over you will see that our game is ticking you can wait let me just go back I'm sorry about the lag it's ticking I don't know how many times per second I I don't really know but it is ticking and that is what does matter what matters so now what we want to do in our tick in gi let's just add here some quick little things like the our variable the world variable needs to be equals to minecraft dot the world and now we are basically set for our if statement so what this mod is going to do is when what I can't even talk once our create city value reaches 100 it's going to display a GUI so to do that oh and it only will display the GUI if the world is a new world and it isn't creative. I mean, it is survival. To do that, very cool thing we have to do is write if our world variable is different than null and I'm sorry and these two little signs means that if this condition is true and this means and and the other condition is true something will happen so if the world is different than null and the world it is a new world and our create city is equals to 100 and <laughs> too many ands I don't think so this is the last end statement and the this means that what's going to be after it is going to be different so if the minecraft dot play oops I just screw it if minecraft dot where is player player controller dot is in creative mode so all this if statement what is going to do it is if the world is different than new and the world is a new world I mean if you stop if you are starting another world this will not do the same thing and our variable reaches 100 and the player isn't playing on creative something is going to happen so let me show you here system dot out dot print line let me show you what I mean by that we can add our D so if we run this and we must start a new world so let's just delete this one Oh, this is too loud let me just let's start a new world nine minutes we are on the schedule so as you can see in the console right there please be aware of the console don't matter the game so I'm sorry for this being so laggy this is on fancy isn't it Yep, it is. Yeah, I think it just passed it. Let me just close it. And if you see, let me just scroll up 100, and now we can add our GUI. So, very simple thing, very useful. And the idea I had for this is because I was watching a friend who was playing the Tales of Kingdom. I think it's called Tales of Kingdom. I don't know, the mod where you have a city and all that. And I, I found, I was trying to find a way to 
do something that it was kind of the same as that so I find this way which and if we play in creative that won't the this we can have our gi won't show I could show you but I am running out of time so guys in the next episode I will show you how you can add your own gi to the game with some buttons some text so until there guys I hope you've enjoyed if you do please leave me a like and if you want to see more please subscribe to my channel and until the next episode guys peace out